ሰላም ሰላም ተማሪዎች በዛሬ ሁለት የጂኦግራፊ ፓይለት ኤግዛም የምንሰራ ሲሆን ይህ ቪዲዮ ሁሉም ተማሪዎች ጋር እንዲዳረስ ሼር ማድረግ እንዲሁም ይህ ቪዲዮ ከተመቻቹ ደግሞ ቻናሉን መከላከልና ቪዲዮውን ደግሞ ላይክ ማድረግ እንዳትረሱ አሁን በመቀጠል ወደ ጥያቄው እንግባ 1 which one of the following describes the development of geography as a discipline a in 18th century geography began to emphasize about the location b in 19th century the geographical societies and research group were formed c in 16th century geography focused on the relationship of human and environment d in 20th century geography considered as a mother of philosophy and earth science 1 which one of the following describes the development of geography as a discipline a in 18th century geography began to emphasize about the location b in 19th century the geographical societies and research group were formed c in 16th century geography focused on the relationship of human and environment d in 20th century geography considered as a mother of philosophy and earth science answer b in 19th century the geographical societies and research group were formed explanation the 19th century was a key period for geography as an academic discipline because many geographical societies and research institutions were established during this time these organizations helped formalize geography as a scientific field promoting systematic study and exploration question 2 what is the effect of an earthquake on infrastructure when it is between 6.2 to 6.9 on the Richter scale? A. Fall of loose things. B. Destruction of most bridges. C. Total destruction happened. D. Collapse of some buildings. Question 2. What is the effect of an earthquake on infrastructure when it is between 6.2 to 6.9 on the Richter scale? a fall of loose things b destruction of most bridges c total destruction happened d collapse of some buildings the correct answer is d collapse of some buildings explanation an earthquake measuring between 6.2 and 6.9 on the richter scale is considered strong at this level significant damage can occur including the collapse of some poorly constructed buildings. However, total destruction or destruction of most bridges usually happens at higher magnitudes, above 7.0. Falling of loose things, minor damage, is typical of weaker earthquakes, below 6.0. Question 3. Which landform is formed in the upper course of the river? A. Flood plains. B. Deltas. C. Meanders. D. Deep Gorges. Question 3. Which landform is formed in the upper course of the river? A. Flood plains. B. Deltas. C. Meanders. D. Deep Gorges. The correct answer is D. Deep Gorges. Explanation. In the upper course of a river, the gradient is steep, and the river has high energy which leads to vertical erosion. This vertical erosion often creates deep, narrow valleys called gorges. Question 4. Which one of the following is correct about the layer of thermosphere? A. It is the zone of extreme low density of atmosphere. B. It is the coldest part of the atmosphere. C. It comprises 75% of the atmospheric mass. D. It contains high concentration of ozone gas. Question 4. Which one of the following is correct about the layer of thermosphere? A. It is the zone of extreme low density of atmosphere. B. It is the coldest part of the atmosphere. C. It comprises 75% of the atmospheric mass. D. It contains high concentration of ozone gas. The correct answer is A. It is the zone of extreme low density of atmosphere. Explanation. The thermosphere is characterized by very low air density and high temperatures due to absorption of high energy solar radiation. Question 5. Which one of the following is correct about convectional rainfall? It is A. 
dominantly associated around the middle latitude zone, B, formed by cooling of rising air over the mountainous areas, C, formed by evaporation and condensation of moisture in humid areas, D, a common type of rainfall around the high latitude zone. Question five, which one of the following is correct about convectional rainfall? It is A, dominantly associated around the middle latitude zone, B, formed by cooling of rising air over the mountainous areas, C, formed by evaporation and condensation of moisture in humid areas, D, a common type of rainfall around the high latitude zone. The correct answer is C, formed by evaporation and condensation of moisture in humid areas. Explanation. Convectional rainfall occurs when the sun heats the Earth's surface, causing moisture to evaporate and warm air to rise. As the air rises, it cools, condenses, and forms rain, typically in humid and tropical areas. Question six of the following, which one describes about cumulonimbus cloud? A, it causes lightning, hail, and strong rains. B, it is patchy and has wave-like appearance. C, it is composed of liquid droplets. D, it is made up of ice crystals. Question six of the following, which one describes about cumulonimbus cloud? A, it causes lightning, hail, and strong rains. B, it is patchy and has wave-like appearance. C, it is composed of liquid droplets. D, it is made up of ice crystals. A, it causes lightning, hail, and strong rains. Explanation. Cumulonimbus clouds are large, towering clouds associated with thunderstorms and severe weather conditions like lightning, hail, heavy rain, and sometimes tornadoes. Question seven. How does monsoon wind differ from planetary and local winds? Monsoon wind. A, originates from the subtropical high pressure areas. B, blows from the sea towards the land during the daytime. C, changes its direction during summer and winter season. D, blows from mountain to valley during the night times. Question seven, how does monsoon wind differ from planetary and local winds? Monsoon wind. A, originates from the subtropical high pressure areas. B, blows from the sea towards the land during the daytime. C, changes its direction during summer and winter season. D, blows from mountain to valley during the night times. The correct answer is C, changes its direction during summer and winter season. Explanation, monsoon winds are seasonal winds that reverse their direction between summer and winter due to the differential heating of land and sea. This seasonal shift causes wet and dry seasons in many regions, especially in South Asia and parts of Africa. Question eight, what is the effect of Benguela Ocean Current on Namib Desert? A, it has warming effect. B, it has cooling effect. C, it causes heavy rainfall. D, it brings rainfall. Question eight, what is the effect of Benguela Ocean Current on Namib Desert? A, it has warming effect. B, it has cooling effect. C, it causes heavy rainfall. D, it brings rainfall. The correct answer is B, it has cooling effect. Explanation. The Benguela Current is a cold ocean current flowing northward along the southwest coast of Africa. Its cooling effect reduces evaporation and moisture in the air, contributing to the arid conditions of the Namib Desert, making it one of the driest deserts in the world. Question nine. Among the following, which one is the characteristic of tropical hot desert? A, it receives rainfall greater than 250 millimeters per year. B, it covers with grasslands and evergreen trees. C, it located on the eastern margin of the continents. D, it is known by absence of clouds during the year. Question nine. Among the following, which one is the characteristic of tropical hot desert. A, it receives rainfall greater than 250 millimeters per year. B, it covers with grasslands and evergreen trees. C, 
It located on the eastern margin of the continents. D. It is known by absence of clouds during the year. The correct answer is D. It is known by absence of clouds during the year. Explanation. Tropical hot deserts are characterized by very dry conditions with little to no cloud cover throughout the year, leading to intense sunlight and high temperatures. Question 10. Which of the following explains the relative location of Ethiopia? Ethiopia is found to A. Southeast of Somalia B. Northwest of Sudan C. East of Djibouti D. South of Eritrea Question 10. Which of the following explains the relative location of Ethiopia? Ethiopia is found to A. Southeast of Somalia B. Northwest of Sudan C. East of Djibouti D. South of Eritrea The correct answer is D. South of Eritrea Explanation Ethiopia is located south of Eritrea. Eritrea lies to the north of Ethiopia. Option A is incorrect because Somalia is southeast of Ethiopia, not the other way around. Option B is incorrect because Sudan is west of Ethiopia, so Ethiopia is east of Sudan, not northwest. Option C is incorrect because Djibouti is located east of Ethiopia, so Ethiopia is west of Djibouti. አብራችሁ ስለቆያችሁና መሰግናለን በቀጣይ ፓርት 2 እንዲለቀቅ የምትፈልጉ ኮመንት ሴክሽን ላይ አስቀምጡልኝ እናም ይህንን ቻናል ሰብስክራይብ ቪዲዮውን ደግሞ ላይክ ማድረግ እንዳትረሱ በቀጣይ እስከምንገናኝ መልካም ጊዜ ይሁንላችሁ